How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be rebuilding the Minnesota Twins, a team you guys have really been asking for as of late. So I definitely want to bring them to you. So if you guys want to see some more rebuilds, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know some other teams you would like to see rebuilt in the future. Like I mentioned in last video, if you missed it, it's up here. It was the um, Washington Nationals rebuild. So I hope you guys go check it out. But like I said, there's only like five or six teams that we have left, maybe seven. We have the Red Sox, the Yankees, the Astros, the Royals, Indians, and Diamondbacks. So I think, th I think that's it, actually. Um, so we definitely have a few more teams. I know you guys have been asking a lot about the Red Sox and the Yankees. Those are probably the last two teams that I do just because they're some of the better teams um, that really don't need that many changes to become a World Series champion. So let's hop into this Minnesota Twins rebuild i really don't have an idea of what i want to do with this squad actually that's not true let's let's quickly look at the squad and i have i have an idea i this team is a team that has a lot of good young talent that develops very very quickly so we don't need a lot of changes um jose barrios um or barrios um, is one of those players that develops very quickly. Odorizzi is actually a pretty decent pitcher for the next couple years. We have Gonzalez, Mejia, Romero. Um, these two don't develop as quickly, so we'll still need a couple pitching um, starting pitchers. But overall, there's some good youth talent here. Um, bullpen wise, we definitely have some decent pitchers. Addison Reed, um, Taylor Rogers. Um, and those two are pretty solid, so I know I mentioned those. But Hildenberger is pretty good, so we have three solid arms in the bullpen. We definitely will need at least two more to really solidify it. Catching, we have Mitch Garver, but outside of that, there's not too many youngsters that'll like develop. So we will need a catcher for sure. I really wish Williams Astudio was a uh, higher-rated catcher with better potential. In real life, he has like. He doesn't strike out ever. It's crazy. If you guys don't know about Williams Astudio, this is the new Big Sexy. No joke. This guy is 5'9", 200, and like 30 or some odd pounds. Like he is ridiculous. So if you guys haven't, if you guys don't know about Williams Astudio, go check him out. He just hit a walk off like two or three days ago. This guy is an animal, and um, it says he can only play catcher and first base. But in the minors and even in the majors, he's played like every sh position besides shortstop. So it's pretty crazy what he can do. Tyler Austin is probably going to be that first baseman I'm looking to use. I know we used him in the last rebuild, but he's just a, a player that develops pretty nicely. We do have Joe Maurer. So <sighs> I know he's he's like a twins legend. I get that. Um, so if he can, if he sticks around for a cheap deal, I'll keep him. But um, we might have to move on from him. We definitely need a new second baseman. Third baseman we don't need. Because um, we got Miguel Sano, who's an absolute beast. Jorge Polanco is actually not a bad shortstop. He doesn't necessarily have the power. But he definitely has um, potential. He develops nicely. We also have Nick Gordon and Royce Lewis, who can back him up in the future. Eddie Rosario is a decent little left fielder. He usually hovers around the high 70s to 80s throughout rebuilds anyways. So we'll be fine there. We also have Johnny Field who should develop for us as well. Byron Buxton is actually a player I've been trying to get in so many rebuilds, but he has such a high trade value. It's pretty hard to get him, so I'm definitely excited to see how he progresses in this franchise. Um, we have Akil Badu and um, Jacob Pearson down there as well, along with Zach Granite, but Byron Buxton is probably gonna be our center fielder for the future. Right field, we have Max Kepler, Robbie Grossman, um, Alex Kirilov, Trevor Larnick, and um, Gabriel Maciel, but Max Kepler, he's decent. I'm okay with him probably for a season, but after that, we'll probably need a new right fielder. So right fielder, maybe left fielder if Eddie Rosario doesn't um, perform well. Um, a second baseman for sure, and then um, a catcher for the future, and then maybe some pitching. So the main concern for me right now is getting rid of some of these older players. Matt Bylisle, um, Irving Santana, maybe Kyle Gibson, um, Bobby Wilson, Jason Castro, players like that, Logan Morrison, who are in their 30s that really aren't going to help us for the future. Um, get some younger players that will develop. So once we get there, well, I'll show you what we can do. So I did say I need a, um, a bullpen arm, and an arm that I usually go for because he's pretty reliable is Joe Biagini. 
um 75 overall b potential 27 years old um he develops very nicely and he's just an arm that works very well in that long relief spot and it's kind of difficult to find arms that fit that spot so this is a good um little pickup for us second trade we're making is we're really solidifying this bullpen we're going for a rotis viscaino um 27 years old b potential 78 overall we're getting rid of blaine enlow who's kind of like the trade piece for this one um kyle gibson doesn't have too much trade value um i'm not really looking to use him this year along with matt uh belisle so Plus he's, plus he's 37. So I think we're really solidifying this bullpen. I think that's really kind of something that I usually wait till the very last minute to do. But this time we're going to focus on the bullpen the first year. So let me see if I can find a third trade. And that'll probably be the last trade for the first season. Final trade we're probably going to be making is um, Zach Little um, as well as Jason Castro. I noticed he had a, a two-year deal remaining, so I wanted to move him on. And then Logan Forsythe which means we're kind of stuck without a second baseman for a year. Um, but we're going to get Reynaldo Lopez of the White Sox, 74 or 76 overall, 24 years old. Um, I, I, I think this is a decent trade. Another young pitcher added to the squad. Alrighty, so this is how we're going to line up for the first season. Um, Jose Barrios, Odorizzi, Michael Pineda, Reynaldo Lopez, and Adalberto, Adalberto Mejia. I also noticed Pineda has about a five-year contract for the next two years so i might trade him at the deadline um he is also around that 30 years old mark so it's probably time you know i'm not saying it's time for him to go but that's a lot of money we could use somewhere else for a younger pitcher who could help us out down the road um matt mcgill joe biagini trevor may tyler duffy arotas viscaino taylor rogers hildenberger addison reeds our closer the thing with hildenberger that worries me in this spot is his control so i might swap him out for viscaino i'm actually going to um this is the lineup we got buxton mauer sano morrison rosario kepler polanco adrianza and mitch garver um on the bench we got bobby wilson tyler austin and robbie grossman so it's 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 an okay team um i'd be surprised if we make the playoffs first season already it's draft day so let's see how it goes Season's not going too good. I'll let you guys know that. Season is pretty rough right now. We're going to go Alexis Cervantes here. Um, the right fielder. Decent power. Decent fielding. Decent speed. Looks pretty good. Um, one of the players I really wanted was already drafted. And I was kind of hoping he would have gone that long without being drafted. But it didn't work out. We're going to go Sam Gomez here. I was kind of hoping he slipped down. Um, his walks, control, and velocity aren't that high. But everything else is pretty, um, pretty good for the potential stat so let's head into the third round oh we actually have two second round picks okay domingo gonzalez is actually a decent looking pitcher here besides his hits and his control uh, i mean not too bad okay we can't we like can't not take this player carlos beltran not necessarily an outfielder this time but he is a pitcher um i actually really like the looks of luis martinez but i feel like we just can't pass up on like the name carlos beltran you know what it Carlos Beltran it's kind of rude to pass him up but I like the I like the looks of Luis Martinez you know what because he's here we're gonna take Carlos Beltran Lane Hernandez stats for the future his potentials like his projected stats look really good so I'm glad he fell this late because he could be a little gem late on in the, the draft sixth round now last pick of the draft let's see who we go with um raymond Cedeno. his stats don't look horrible um 75 potential i mean really his only two bad stats are his hits and his walks everything else is 70 or above so um could be could could be um a decent pick here so let's go see how our draft picks turned out overall i'd say this is a pretty successful draft um our first round pick alexis cervantes 55 potential uh, 55 overall 85 potential um not necessarily a good hitter right now but he's got some speed um decent fielding so that that's actually a pretty solid first uh, first round pick our second pick was sam gomez first off look at that mustache two he's already got velocity he's got good stamina he's 61 overall um and he's got 89 potential so the second round pick was a good one we had two second round picks domingo gonzalez he's 64 overall 99 velocity his walks per nine are already really good k's per nine are pretty solid as well he looks decent the thing i don't really like right now 61 stamina for a starting pitcher um 
not not the best so hopefully that increases pretty quickly um luis martinez a player i kind of was liking the looks of only 70 potential but he's got really good hitting stats um so maybe a decent bench bat in the future carlos beltran 67 overall 75 potential not too bad he's got some stamina velocity and break so he's 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 an okay okay pick lane hernandez 55 overall 79 potential he was our fifth round pick he looks pretty decent actually um good velocity good break and then our last pick is an 81 potential 68 overall closing pitcher he's got good case per nine good home runs per nine decent velocity decent break um th this isn't this is actually one of the best drafts i've ever had um and every single one of these were guessed um i didn't really have any of these scouted at all so this turned out to be a pretty good draft i'm looking forward to it i'll catch you guys at trade deadline day as you can see we're sitting third in the central right now we're 15 games behind the indians 44 and 63 um it's a lot better than what we started we were like 9 and 25 or something to start the season it wasn't it wasn't going great um, we're about the same in the wild card about 15 games out so it's going a little bit better than what it started um we've had a crazy amount of injuries so i want to look at something i want to see if any of our coaches have like durability issues which they don't and actually one of them has plus three durability so i was wondering maybe that could have been an issue but um let's let's see how everyone's doing you can see jose barrios is up to an 88 um a 3-4 era is not terrible at all he is 7 and 10 but again most of our pitchers probably will have losing records this year um as long as it's developing that's what i want to see but uh 29 walks is a great number to see this early on in the year 54 runs a little high but it's not too bad jake odorizzi is an 80 he's a player that um I, just, I mean era looks nice era looks nice runs about the 50s okay this is definitely a player i'll be monitoring michael pineda he's actually going up um so he's kind of like on an up streak so this might be a player that I could definitely use for a trade piece right now walks are good strikeouts are good his era is a little high um pretty high actually high amount of runs allowed but um he's an 80 overall so maybe i could definitely get some good trade for a uh, trade value for him reynaldo lopez 3 and 11. <sighs> yikes maybe i'll send him to the minors for a year see if we can find a, a like kind of a a, a fill-in pitcher because even out of belt add oh my gosh out of bar right, we're just gonna call him mejia because I, I can't say his first name um he is having a pretty rough year as well but he's gone up a little bit overall um, I'm, I'm, ex I'm expecting him to have kind of a, a tough year this first year just based on the fact that he was pretty low rated to start the year um, Matt McGill is actually going down which isn't good to see um, Biagini he's going down too he's normally one of our consistent pitchers that I pick up this year not so much Trevor May is up to a 70 um, Taylor Duffy is up to a 68 Hildenberger is a 79 um, Taylor Rogers is a 75 Viscaino 77 man we're just we're having some trouble struggles this year in the bullpen even though that's what I was looking to solidify the most and then Addison reads an 85 I'm um, looking at the squad Polanco's a 78 so he's actually kind of still the same rating but um he's having a good year 280 284 um the reason Buxton's down here and he hasn't really developed much is because he broke his shin so he was out for two months, which is a little disappointing to see. Joe Maurer is definitely going down in rating. It's expected he's, what, 34? Miguel Sano's an 86. Um, he's hitting 260. Morrison's a 70, but he's about 30 years old. Eddie Rosario's going down, which is a little disappointing to see. Um, I was kind of hoping he would at least, at least hold on to that 80 rating, but he, he isn't. Max Kepler is a 75. Buxton, like I said, is an 81. Garver is a 70, so he's gone up two ratings, and Adrianza has actually gone up two, two or one rating as well. Bobby Wilson's a 68, and Tyler Austin's still a 69. Um, but um, it's it's going decent. It's going it's going a little bit better than I expected, I should say. All right, we're going to the Mets for Steven Matz, um, a lefty, 29 years old, 79. Yeah, 26 years old, 79 overall, B potential. Um, the big thing with him are his hits and K's are kind of low. Um, 
but overall he's got good walks per nine decent stamina good control should definitely help us out we are getting rid of michael pineda who i said i kind of wanted to move on from anyways but at the same oh we also got rid of a um aaron sledgers b potential 64 overall um he is 25 so we're, we did get rid of a little bit of a prospect Alrighty, domingo santana is coming to minnesota a player i have traded for in the past and i know you guys want to see some new players so i am going to start using some new players but i was looking through some outfielders i was looking at the trade pieces that we currently had and there really wasn't anything that i could make work without um giving up too much like i wanted to keep on to johnny field um i want to keep on to gordon i want to keep on to lewis um tyler austin's another piece mitch garver i want to keep on to our developing pitching that we have like we have all these pitchers above 66 um that are still young so i want to keep those pieces because next season third season we definitely will probably need some trade pieces and i don't want to trade them all the way just yet this also solidifies that left field spot for us domingo santana turns into an absolutely amazing outfielder in a sim style franchise and even just a franchise that you play in like when you actually control um so 25 years old b potential 77 overall he's an amazing bat um and i think he fits that left field mold his arm isn't that great his fielding isn't that great so he's more of an offensive player to add to the squad we are getting rid of eddie rosario who's gone down four ratings already this year and then we're getting rid of two relievers um matt mcgill who's 28 he hasn't cracked that 70 mark so i'm okay with letting him go along with luke bard which is the same thing 27 hasn't cracked that 70 mark so those are the three players going for domingo santana with that being said now we need a new now we need that left fielder i know i said i wanted a starter but i just i couldn't find any plus we have those developing um those developing starting pitchers that are currently in the minors so i'm okay with sticking it out this year and hopefully everything goes you know just everything does okay like their 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 growth isn't stunted especially reynaldo lopez so we moved Domingo Santana to left field. He's already an 84 because of it. I think that was the, the, the smartest move we could make. 66 and 96 is the first season tally of wins and losses. Um, looking at the standings, we finished 27 games out of the central. We still finished third and we finished about 25 games out in the wild card. Expected, definitely expected. Um, there's the playoff bracket there. It, it, was, a, it was a rough year, it definitely was. Um, Barrios dropped down a little bit in rating, but that's okay. Um, a 3.65 ERA is still very respectable. 56 walks is a number I really like. He had 220 strikeouts. Um, even his runs, runs not that bad. Like this is this is an okay year, definitely an okay year. Odorizzi's up to an 81. He did have a winning record. Again, very low walks. Strikeouts aren't that high, but you can see his K's per nine aren't that high. Very respectable ERA. Um, and even the runs weren't that bad. Steven Matz is still around that 75 mark. Um, his stats are very respectable as well. Ronaldo Lopez, his ERA has gone down a little bit. So that that's a that's a good sign to see that the second half went a little bit better. And Mejia is still around that 70 mark. Um, so I was expecting that. Biagini has gone up to a 72. Um, he was a 71. His ERA has gone down, what, 0.2 since the second half of the season? Um, Trevor May, 70, Duffy, 69, Vizcaino's the 75, um, Rogers, 76, Hildenberger's an 82, Addison Reed, 80, 83. So um, maybe swap them for next season, but at the same time, Addison Reed didn't do too bad there. You know, it, it was it was a decent little run for him. Um, Polanco's up to an 80, which is great to see, 268 uh, average. Um, let's see what his on-base percentage was since he was our leadoff hitter. 322, not too bad. Joe Maurer continues to decrease, but again, ex expected. Domingo Santana, 83. Hmm, what's what's the issue here? Contracts hurting his morale a lot. And what else? His, the team performance doesn't help. But 264 average for the second half of the season isn't too bad. 86 overall for Sano. Kepler is a 75. He's he probably will be more of a platoon outfielder once we add a new outfielder to help us out. Logan Morrison's going down. Buxton's an 83. Um, Garver is a 70, and Adrianza is up to a 71. So that's not too bad. Um, Johnny Fields around that 70 mark still. 
Bobby Wilson's a 68. Tyler Austin's a 71 already. And Nick Gordon came up for the second half of the season, and he's a 67. He hit 239. So, again, not a horrible year. Um, could have been a little bit better. 66 and 96 or something like that was our record. Um, I was expecting similar, similar, similar. Uh, Man, what am I trying to say? I was expecting something like that. I wasn't expecting it to go too great. Um, we have Romero here. We have Gonzalez, Thorpe, Gratterall. Um, we got some. We got some up and coming pitchers for sure. Um, let's see here. Diaz is a 63 already. Um, let's see. Let's see. Gordon 67. Lewis 64. Johnny Field, like I've mentioned, Rooker, um, Granite, Victor, Victor Mesa. We got Badu, Pearson, and then we also have Kirilov. So we do have some outfielders that are definitely going to start to progress pretty quickly. Um, so I'm feeling good. I feel like we have a lot of youth talent. I have We definitely have some trade pieces if we ever are in a spot. We do have some pitchers we could move. We definitely have some outfielders that we can move, like Rooker. So we have like Rooker, Granite, Mesa, Badu, Pearson, and then we also have Kirilov. Lionark and Massiel. So we have like five or six outfielders that definitely could be moved in um, a nest like a do or die situation where we need to make a trade. Um, so right now, let's just get to season two, see if we add a free agent piece, and I'll catch you guys then. After I tell you who wins the World Series, of course, Dodgers defeated the Yankees. So Let's get in the offseason. Let's see what we do. Okay, unfortunately, Joe Maurer won't take anything less than two million a year. Um, and for a player who's decreasing, I just I can't pay that. Uh, unfortunately, I really want to bring him back. I just can't pay that type of money for a player that for two million I can get a backup catcher. I can get a backup. I can get a reliever. I can get an uh, like a backup that will actually contribute and develop for two million. So I'm sorry, I just can't bring him back. Um, I gotta think contract wise. And we just can't do it. Same with Morrison and Bobby Wilson. These three, they're aging players who kind of all decreased. Oh, Bobby Wilson actually went up. But um, they're just players who aren't going to increase and help us out in the future. So they're just, they, sorry, I can't do it. So we're going to hop into free agency. And I'll show you guys the contracts that I'll be offering there for the future. Arbitration wise, the only one that won't get it is probably Pacheco. Everybody else is okay to stay. Because uh, they were pretty helpful throughout the year. Alrighty, big contracts to focus on. Jose Barrios, two years. Santana, five years. Hildenberger, four years. Austin, four. Uh, Cave got one. Um, you can see his potential has actually gone up, even though it's dropped. Um, you got Lopez had two years. Let's see. Mejia, Garver, Romero, Field. Oh, no, this is Field. Johnny Cave was somebody else. Um, Field is the same alrighty that's good um, Drake I'm letting go even though he's one of our higher relievers um, just 32 years old I don't really see him helping us and then everybody else has get, get gotten some contracts as well alrighty let's look at some of the players that we added from the draft we have Carlos Beltran 67 overall he only has C potential um, who else did we have we had one more start oh Sam Gomez B potential the handle more mustache is just too good um, I have them written down. Who else did we have? We had one more starting pitcher. Um, Hernandez. Hernandez was another one. Lane Hernandez. Um, the closing pitcher was Ramon Cedeno. He looks decent. Almost a 70 overall. Um, who else did we have? We drafted a right fielder and a left fielder. All right. That's right. That's right. We had Luis Martinez. 65 overall. Only see potential. So maybe, maybe the potential will change. Maybe he'll turn into a little bit better of an outfielder. And then we had Alexis Cervantes, who hitting wise, not that great, but speed wise looks decent. Um, so you can see the, the draft picks from season one. Kenji Murakami is a first baseman, 64 overall in free agency. I'm going to give him a, a prospect contract, a, a minor league contract. Already, this is a big trade, but I think it needs to be made. Um, we don't have a right fielder. I mean, Max Kepler is okay. But George Springer's coming to Minnesota. It's his final year of his contract. Um, we do have it says it has one more year. Um, I don't know how if it's like a player option or something. Um, he was traded to the Brewers, um, but we're gonna be bringing him for Zach Granite, who he looks like he's gonna be a good player for the future. Um, but for right now, I feel like we could definitely bring him in. We are getting rid of Nick Gordon as well. My thinking is. 
we have Royce Lewis, who's four years younger, only six overall lower, and he's already a better hitter. So that was my thinking. And then also the starting pitcher, Fernando Romero, who definitely looks like he's going to be good in the future. But for right now, I just, I, I just, we need, we need some bats. We need some help. And I think that this is going to be a big trade. We did have to give up a lot for it. We definitely did. Um, but um, this is this is definitely a, a really good trade for us. We we get a new like outfielder who's going to help us out. All right, we're going to the Brewers for Jimmy Nelson, 29 years old, 84 overall um, for Luis Arias and also um, Hildenberger. The issue is... Um, Addison Reed has the closer expectation along with Hildenberger. So one of them has to be our closer because otherwise morale is going to bring them down. My thinking is his controls worse off. He doesn't have as good as velocity and also his hits and walks aren't as good as Reed. So I'd rather have Reed closing. And now we have another pitcher who can help us out. Um, and that allows us to let Gonzalez develop for at least one more season in the minors before he comes up which i think is a smart option for us right now um i would love for gonzalez to be up now and it might actually hurt his growth but i think for right now it's the best move for us um so this is how we're looking for the season um that was the only two trades i wanted to make um this allows us some time to kind of see how the team's going we have springer now we have jimmy nelson um, Springer's the big one. I think that was a great trade. It also did does kind of hurt us because now we don't really have um, a lot of trade pieces. But um, I think I think it's a smart move. So that's the trades for now. I'll see you guys at deadline day. As you can see in the central, we're four games out. We're two games under 500, which is kind of sad to see. Um, in the wild card, we're 11 out. So. Um, Central's looking like it's our best option to make the playoffs. Um, the draft picks from the CPU, we have a 95 potential 74 overall catcher. Jackie Cantrell looks really good already. It looks really nice. This He could definitely help us next season. Everybody else looks pretty poor, um, so I'm going to let them I'm gonna let them go. Um, let's look at, quickly, just kind of look through the squad. Um, Jimmy Nelson, come on, dude. Why are you, why are you low already? Um, obviously team performance is going to hurt a lot of these guys. Jimmy Nelson's not having a good year though Not what I want to see from a player we traded for Barrios is having a phenomenal year. Odorizzi's okay Ronaldo Lopez is having a rough year and so is Steven Matt So the, our two pitchers that we traded for in the rotation aren't aren't really doing well Mejia Not really filling this long relief role like I thought he would be a genie same thing um, Pitching pitching again looks like it's pretty rough um Looking at the lineup, you guys can see even George, George Springer. Okay, Buxton's looking okay. Polanco's looking okay. Springer, okay. Sano's having a little bit of a down year. His potential is starting to decrease. Santana's having a good year. 300 average. Tyler Austin's almost up to an 80. Mitch Garver, okay. Johnny Field, all right. Adrianza, not bad. He's up to a 73. Victor Victor Mesa and Robbie Grossman, not, not that great. All right, we're going to try again with the Brewers. See if this one works out. Brent Suter. Um, for Tanner English, Jake Cave, and Joe Biagini. Joe Biagini's just not cutting it. Um, we're going to bring in another long reliever. See if that works. Hopefully. Hopefully it does. All right. So we did finish a little bit better than we did last year. 75 and 87. Not horrible. Um, we had six games more. Um, we won six games more. This is the playoff picture. You guys can see it there. Let's see. We finished nine games out in the end and 23 in the wild card so it, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't horrible buxton had the most doubles and he also had a gold glove so let's see <sighs> odorizzi what happened what's going on here it's contract okay barrios barrios is having decent jimmy nelson mm. The pitch, pitching that we traded for is just is not is not going as well as I would have hoped. Suter, okay, it's not bad. Trevor May, he's actually not too bad either. Taylor Rogers, Jake Reed, yikes. Vizcaino and Addison Reed. Addison Reed's decree. What is going on with our pitching? I feel like every move that I've made for pitching has hurt us. Like, ah, <sighs> Sano had a rough year. 
Santana had a good year, even though his his rating went down. Um, but every move that we made for pitching hurt us. So I'm gonna I'm not really gonna talk about player performance this season. Um, I'll show you guys kind of how, where and like where everyone's sitting. Man, that I just feel like every move we're making right now is just is not going well, which is really frustrating to see because I, I feel I feel like we're making good moves. They're just they're not panning out. So that that is how everything's looking. I'm going to I'm just going to simulate because I'm just I'm flabbergasted by what's happening. Red Sox defeated the Mets. Let's just get in the postseason, see if season three really changes things around. Arbitration, everybody but Robbie Grossman got one. Contracts, I'm gonna have to figure something out. All right, for contracts, it was really just Suter. Um, I'm gonna let Reed go. He didn't really do much, and he had a really rough year. All right, Miguel Amaya is from the Cubs. He's got eight potential. He's 769 overall. Um, he's a free agent. I can't let him pass up, even though this is probably gonna be one of the last seasons. Could be a decent little bench bat later on in the year. Alrighty, Nick Gordon also is in the free agency pool, um, formerly of the Twins. Might as well pick him back up, put him back in the squad. All right, we're getting rid of two of our pitching prospects, Mejia and Gonzalez for Dylan Bundy. We need pitching help, and we've kind of struggled with pitching help. It hasn't really worked out for us this year, but hopefully this this one does. All right, we're adding Joe Jimenez, 83 overall. Um, reliever for Kenji Murakam Murakami, Alex Kirilov, as well as John Kemmer. The big piece here is this first baseman from Japan. He looks really good for the future, but for right now, we really need to, we need to make this team good. Um, and adding a bullpen arm was, was the move. So this is, this is what we're looking like right now. All right, I know we just added him in the last rebuild, but Paul DeYoung is just a player that I can't pass up. This is our new um, shortstop we're gonna let Polanco move to second um, we're, we're trading Royce Lewis it's a really good trade we're getting rid of a minor leaguer who's not gonna help us now for a player who's gonna help us now um, I didn't want to bring in a player that I recently picked up in a rebuild but I went through every second baseman and every shortstop and the only player that I could get that um, um, would trade like an only player that I could get that wouldn't cost more than just the prospect and one of our better players and also fit with our tran or not our transfer budget but our salary our salary is killing us we have no cap space all right we're going for john gray um from the rockies decent stats 86 overall max kepler trevor lanark larnark and then reynaldo lopez are going the opposite way we need that fifth um rotation spot sorted and it just wasn't getting done with Ronaldo Lopez so this the team's looking a little bit better I'm hoping everyone performs um the bullpen Jimenez will go up Taylor Rogers should develop some more Trevor May has been doing decent Taylor Duffy's been doing decent as well um so as long as everyone holds their weight we should be fine um we should also have some development from Johnny Field Victor Victor Mesa Jackie Cantrell um who did we lose there Oh, we lost Kepler, who was our DH. All right, we'll let, we'll let Jackie Cantrell hold down the spot there. The the, uh, the DH spot, I guess I should say. Um, And then let, yeah, we'll do that. I like that. I like that a lot. So this is the squad for season three. Um, I'm probably going to make a couple more trades at the deadline. So let's just get there. Let's, uh, let's get to the playoffs. We have to make an emergency trade because we've lost two of our starting pitchers to long-term injuries. We're going to Jordan Montgomery of the Yankees um, to help us out there. So um, this this is what happened. We lost Jimmy Nelson the shoulder separation and Dylan Bundy with a fractured arm. So we, we, need, we obviously had to make a quick little uh, trade because we were in a bit of a pickle. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Let's get to the deadline. All right, we're three and a half games out in the central and we have a wild card spot. So I'm hoping it works out. We got we got a couple decent picks here from the CPU based um, from the draft. Um, they probably won't really do much for us. But looking at the squad, um, Bundy's come back. Um, John Gray's doing OK. Steven Matz is doing OK. Not amazing, though. 
And then you can see the rest of the squad here. Jordan Montgomery is having a pretty lights out year, which is what I like to see. Same with Jose Barrios. The rest of the squad, Taylor Rogers, not what I want to see. Definitely not what I want to see. And I'm actually going to move Vizcaino because he's having a rough spot in the bullpen. Um, the rest of the squad, I mean, Johnny Fields up to an 80. That's great to see. Um, 300 hitters right here. All right here. Jackie Cantrell's kind of taking over the catcher spot because he's up to an 80 as well. So the CPU did a really good job right there. Um, and the rest of the squad looks like they're having an, a pretty all right year. Um, I'm going to move Johnny Field down a little bit because he's not hitting the ball too too well right there. Um, it's looking like to make the really big push at the end of the year, um, we are going to need some bullpen help. And uh, I definitely think we have the pieces to do that. Like I said, we still have Jimmy Nelson. Jimmy Nelson's coming back. Um, and before he was hurt, his ERA is high, but his his win losses were there. Um, so let's. I feel like we need to move on from Steven Matz. He just he's just not developing as good as I would have hoped. All right, we're going Pedro Strope and David Bodie. We get a bench bat. Uh, not really a bench bat, but another um, backup. We had Adrianza. But I'm going to add Bodie. We're also going for Pedro Strope to help with the bullpen. Um, I think that's going to help us out as well. We're getting rid of Steven Matz, um, who just just not not really cutting it, along with uh, Mitch Garver. Um, we have Miguel Amaya, who looks just as good as Garver. So I'm hoping this is the trade. I feel like just for that last push, it should be good enough. Already, Mike Fultenowitz is coming in for Jimmy Nelson, Lewis Thorpe, and Luke Rayley. Um, again, we're we're making the pushes. We're making the push for the playoffs. So, um, yeah, we. I feel like this is it. This is what we needed. Um, we got we got Strope the setup man, Addison Reed, who is having an okay year. Maybe move them in this. Maybe like that. We'll see. Um, I feel I'm feeling comfortable now. Um, our lineup looks amazing. Um, I feel like we have, we do have a spot open in the majors, I should say, in the majors, because um, we made that trade. So let's see, is there anyone we could call up to kind of help us push? Uh, it's not looking like it. We've literally, oh, Amaya. I was going to say, we've literally traded everybody. We're not really set up for the future anymore. But this was the last push for the playoffs. Let's do it. We made it as a wild card team and we're playing the Red Sox. We finished 90 and 72. Oh man. Uh, Byron Buxton had the most triples and Montgomery had the most wins. Okay, okay. And then uh, Cantrell was rookie of the year. And then Cantrell and Buxton won gold gloves. Let's see how the team performed as a whole. Um, Jose Barrios is one of the best pitchers in a sim style franchise. Um, 13 and 9, 224 innings, 55 walks, 200 strikeouts, and an under 3 ERA. That's nice to see. John Gray, not the wins and losses, under a 4 ERA. So more of a maybe a 3 or a 4 starter. Um, even, even a 2 is not horrible. Um, Dylan Bundy, sim similar ERA and stuff like that. Um, but decent numbers. Jordan Montgomery, 20 and 7 with a 3-4 ERA. That's that's great to see. And Mike Fultonowitz had a lower ERA when we um, than when we traded for him. I think his ERA was in the three um, when we threes when we traded for him. Trevor May. Yikes! Yikes! Um, Brent Suter, uh, pretty decent. He did start a lot this year. He had almost 200 innings. Taylor Rogers is up to an 81. He had a rough year. Tyler Duffy, pretty solid year. Under 2 ERA in 53 innings. That's a good year. Vizcaino, a little rough, a little rough. Jimenez, not bad. Addison Reed, okay, okay. And then Strope, Strope did okay. Strope did okay. So we're looking, we're looking okay on the pitching front, kind of. There's a couple, there's like two or three players I need to avoid. Um, Buxton hit 250 on the year, um, but he's a 90 overall. So that like you can see his stats. He's looking, he's looking decent. Um, not so much power, but the contact numbers are there. Jorge Polanco, again, he's having an okay year. Um, contact numbers are there, um, but not necessarily amazing power. George Springer is a great pickup. 300 average, you know, good power, good fielding, good hitting stats. Same with Paul DeYoung. Um, just, 
he's got power and he's good he's a good bat Miguel Sano he's kind of held his his you know consistency mid 20 high you know good RBIs good homers um, this was a good average year for him um, he's an 86 Tyler Austin's now an 82 um, he hit 28 homers which is good almost a 300 average Johnny Field you know, hitting hitting is not there, but he's a decent little fielder. Jackie Cantrell, CPU picked up an amazing catcher um, for us. And Domingo Santana got hurt the last week of the season, but he's back. He hit 300, more homers, a little less RBIs on base percentages there as well. Victor Victor Mesa is a 73. David Bode is a 74. Miguel Amaya hit 400 and what, 34 at bats? Not bad. Um, we don't really have anybody to look at in the farm system domingo gonzalez is okay gratterall's doing okay um sam gomez the guy with the handlebar mustache we drafted he's a 67 so he looks decent um and then ramon cedeno is really the only other player i'd be of interest um his walks per nine are pretty poor but he looks like a decent little closer yeah we've cleared house with this club um we really needed to to make the moves to get to where we are now and having kind of a low salary cap hurts us as well so that's the squad um i believe this is a one game playoff yeah so this this is gonna be a tough one you know it's against the red sox they're they're a very strong team they have michael fulmer eduardo rodriguez i can't see who their number three is i think that's andrew skaggs and then david price drew pomeranz um their, their lineup's deadly too. Bogarts, Pedroia, uh, Martinez, Matt Olson, Mookie Betts, Devers, Jackie Bradley, AJ Pollock, and Evan Gaddis. I would be very disappointed if we don't win this game. Very, very disappointed. Um, so, why? Just why? Like, why can't we just... Okay, inning's still... I was going to say inning's still alive, but like, I feel like we've had really poor luck lately in these... like wild card games okay i like i don't like that paul de Jong, so no we got we got to take advantage of when we have base runners we're already in the fifth we've only had one hit um okay first and third buxton three run homer for buxton that's what i'm talking about there we go okay fulmer versus springer de Jong, so no it's ooh. okay you know like our three four five hitters they're 0 for, 0 for 9. Okay, Jackie Field, Jackie can't. Santana walks. Buxton, can you do it again? He can't. Okay. Single. Another single. Oh, he's thrown out at third. Okay. But he doubles. Alrighty, so we're going to do a pitching change. We need a lefty here. Um. Taylor Rogers, can you do it? Sack fly, we're tied up. Ooh, okay. This is I mean he limited the damage, so I'll I'm cool with that. A walk Sano, a single Tyler Austin, grounds out. Alright, we're facing a string of righties. We're in the eighth. We're gonna bring in Reed. That's that's what I wanna see. Field strikes out, Cantrell strikes out, Santana flies out. No! <sighs> Alrighty, I knew, I knew, I knew that was like it. It just was written in the stars that I just can't win a one playoff game. Like, <sighs> alrighty, you know what? I like this team offensively. I think it's a really good team pitching wise. I feel like every time we traded for a pitcher, it just didn't work out. Um. Reynaldo Lopez, Jimmy Nelson, Steven Matz. Uh, we had a long reliever that I traded away. And Biagini, there was somebody else. Like, we had four or five trades for pitchers that didn't work out in this rebuild, which is really frustrating because I try to avoid picking up the same players. So it is a bit of, you know, it's, re it's refreshing to try out new players in sim style franchise. You guys want to see new players. I don't always want to trade for the same players because it gets boring for you guys and it gets boring for me because I know what players get very, very good. So I want to try new players, but it makes it difficult because if I don't pick up those really good players, 
it the team's not gonna do well so that's why i tried to sprinkle in a de Jong, um a domingo santana because i know those players do get well george springer was a fantastic addition to this squad pitching wise john gray he gets good in a season or two dylan bundy not a big not a bad pickup um fultinovitz fultinovitz he did pretty solid this year era era wise his walks were a little bit higher um strikeouts pretty solid um just the wins and losses weren't there jordan montgomery fantastic pitcher for a sim um he's got some pretty well-rounded stats trevor may had a rough year brent Suter, i think is a decent little long relief arm on top of that he pitched 200 innings for me this year because he was kind of like a fill-in starter um taylor rogers he's not bad this year had a rough year previous two years pretty good um tyler duffy really good year this year you can see his era dropped um as the seasons went on viscaino um hit or miss really hit or miss so like his first year pretty decent second year eh, and third year got a little bit worse joe jimenez i know develops into a phenomenal pitcher addison reed lost us the game but you can see pretty consistent in the era and then pedro strope i picked him up this year as kind of like we needed that another setup or closer and you can see in the time that we had him he did pretty decent um, going back to our lineup, Byron Buxton's a 90. Like, that's a phenomenal stat to see. Had a little bit of a down year, but still a good year. Jorge Polanco, 87. Great for a second base or a shortstop. Springer, like I said, is one of the best center fielders in the game, hands down. Um, De Jong, one of the best shortstops in the game, hands down. Sano, best third baseman. Tyler Austin turns into a pretty solid first baseman. Johnny Field, pretty decent player. Um, Jackie Cantrell, phenomenal draft pick. Domingo Santana, great left fielder to pick up. Um, like we have that. Um, we had a couple trades that didn't work out as well. So like this team, it, it's difficult to work around the salary. It's difficult to work with what you have. They have a lot of good trade pieces and we cleared house on the trade pieces to make this team. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. I know we weren't very successful, but in three years, we made a team that is actually pretty good. Um, you could trade Vizcaino, you could trade a couple other pieces, make this bullpen a little bit stronger. You probably could have done a couple things differently, like make those bad trades for the pitchers, and you guys would probably be off a little bit better. I literally had to do everything in season three to make it to where I was. I probably could have traded, been a little bit more patient with the players that I traded, but like I said, this is a three year rebuild really. and I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. If I would have expanded this to a five or a seven year rebuild, I would have been a little bit more patient, let players develop, traded the, traded a couple different pieces in different ways. Um, but I try to do this so I keep it within you know three years. I try to keep it short so that you guys can see what can happen in a short span. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop it a like, subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content. Again, we're down to like six teams. So I hope you guys are looking forward to having those finished up. Let me know in the comment section below who's next. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.